Yeah, yo, what's going on, you guys? You're Devon to Raw in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to take that boring vocal and make it more exciting with one trick. And I really mean this with one trick. I'm gonna show you how to take your vocal from this. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home, had to tell you about yourself cause you bringing up all the old stuff. Who is she and why is she hitting you up? to this. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home, had to tell you about yourself cause you bringing up all the old stuff. Who is she and why is she hitting you up? Now, when I played the first one compared to the second one, the second one grabs your attention a lot better. It has more dynamics, it feels more alive, it feels more robust. I'm gonna show you how to accomplish this with a plugin that you already have in your arsenal and don't run from this uh, particular thing, which is a multi-band compressor, but not in the typical way you're thinking. Now, before we go any further, I'm gonna ask you guys to comment, like, subscribe to this video to keep this channel going. This is the road to 100,000 subscribers. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, and also you can go to helpmedevon.info for some goodies. We have a bunch of vocal chains, presets, and stuff like that for a bunch of DAWs. Now, let's continue. So the plugin that you already have in your arsenal, that is basically uh, what you use to give your vocal more life and uh, make it feel more alive and more dynamic in your mix or any instrument or sound source for that matter is the multi-band compressor. But there's a hidden trick or maybe something that a lot of people are not familiar with with the multi-band. You can use a multi-band compressor in reverse. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this back to factory default. And this is what I'm gonna show you. So I want you to pay attention to this little thing right here that says range. And basically when you see range on a multiband, and please do not be intimidated by a multiband compressor, just listen to me and stay with me. When you see this thing right here that says range, right? Basically you see ours set to negative eight. What this is saying is that anything that basically hits the threshold, when you hit it and attenuate it like a compressor, I want you to bring it down eight to about that eight. This is basically kind of like the floor as opposed to the ceiling of it. The most that you're gonna attenuate this vocal is eight D is, is eight dB. It's basically that range, that range sets it. So eight is where it will compress the hardest. So I'll, I'll show you just to give you an example. So let's say we do it from right here Let's solo this and check this out. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home, had to tell you about yourself cause you bringing up all the old stuff. So watch this, I'll bring it down even more, but you'll see that it's gone as far as it possibly can go with us putting the range to negative eight. So check this out. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home, had to tell you about yourself cause you bringing up all Whatever we set our range to is how much it will decide should be attenuated with whatever passes the threshold. So check this out. Let's put this back up. Let's let it compress. And now I'm gonna turn the range down some more, allowing the compression to say, yo, you can attenuate it even more. So give me about negative 12. Watch this, pay attention. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home, had to tell you about yourself because you bringing up all the old stuff. So that's basically me, basically me just bringing the floor down. So this is all I'm trying to teach you is this range button, okay? Pay attention to this range button. Basically, what the range does on a multiband compressor is it it's asking you, hey, how much do you want me to bring it down as far as when I do compress, what's the most that you will allow me to bring this sound source down? We said eight, negative eight, and that was the furthest that it would allow. We moved it to negative 12, that's the furthest it allowed. But what we're going to do is, and what a lot of people don't know is, you can use the range button in reverse. Meaning you can tell the sound source or the multiband compressor, anything that comes below this, above this threshold or below in this threshold range that you set, I want you to boost it up a certain amount of dB. So anything that crosses the threshold that you decide, you could say, I want you to boost it here. Watch this. Okay, so let's put this back to factory default, right? Boom. Let's move this on over to right about here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna solo this range right here, right? Listen close to this range. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. Let's bring it all up so you can hear it flat for what it is. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. 
I had to leave you at home. Had okay, so you hear that? It's a bit harsh, but I'm gonna show you something. Instead of having the range at negative eight, let's put the range to three. I'm gonna take this off. Let's listen to what this sounds like. So I'm going to start to pull this threshold down. Basically, when the audio crosses the threshold, it's going to start to boost it 3 dB. Check this out. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home, had to tell you about yourself cause you bringing up all the old stuff. Who is she and why is she hitting you up? Last time you did this, you wound up finding it was nothing up. Now we have a more dynamic section. It feels like it's kind of opening up, like it's kind of moving a little bit more. It's still holding our compression that we did in our vocal chain, but now we have a little bit more movement and it's interesting. Check this out on the high end. Granted, I would put a de-esser on the 3K kilohertz range, that pain frequency. I can hear that it needs to be yeah, de-es, but for the sake of this tutorial, just follow along with me. So make sure you de-es your vocals. Let's do it to the high end. And I, we can get some really interesting high end doing this. So we're gonna boost the range, we're changing the range to about four dB plus four. So we're changing the range to plus four. Okay, and then we'll start to bring it down. Check this out. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home, had to tell you about yourself cause you bringing up all the old stuff. Who is she and why is she hitting you up? Last time you did this, you wound up finding it was nothing up. Men have no voice in the situation. Cause I look like the bad guy. Really, you need to change. Just think about it. You always saying men are just. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home. Had to tell you about yourself cause you bringing up all the old stuff. A more fun and more interesting vocal. Now you can do this across the entire spectrum. You can do this to the mids, to the highs, uh, to different sections. Now, granted, make sure that when you get to this stage of making or giving the vocal more dynamics, that you have DS, that you fix small little problems. This is a, a unmixed vocal for the most part, but I'm showing you how simple it is to get more dynamics and make your vocal more interesting and exciting in the mix, that it doesn't feel so flat and stagnant. And that's a big issue that a lot of us struggle with. We put on compressors, we put on EQs, and really there's no movement. We've compressed the vocal, Vocal, uh, we've EQ'd it, and it's pretty flat uh, it, from a from a dynamic standpoint. So by doing this, it allows us to give more uh, dynamics back into the vocal sound that we had while maintaining all of the EQ and compression. Now you can do this for your instruments to make them more interesting. You can do this to your entire mix to make it more interesting. That's a big mastering secret that people use. It it just you can do this to absolutely any sound just to make it feel a little bit more dynamic. It, it, when things feel more dynamic, they feel more musical, and that's something that you're probably missing inside of your mix, or maybe you. You do it, and and this is just a, a refresher for you, but do not be afraid of the multi-band compressor. So I'll bypass this back and forth within the music one more time and let you get an idea of what it's doing. Check it out. It's four in the morning, don't wanna talk about it. I had to leave you at home, had to tell you about yourself cause you bringing up all the old stuff. Who is she and why is she hitting you up? Last time you did this, you wound up finding it was nothing up. Men have no voice in the situation Cause I look like the bad guy, really you need to change Just think about it, you always saying men are just not it But every time we have a problem, it's about a chick A girl knows how to get you mad and push your buttons I just wish that you never let them get in your head But it's always coming back to me Okay, so that is basically what you can do. You can basically take a multi-band compressor and use it in reverse. Super powerful, super effective, and this goes for anything. This can go for your vocals, your instruments, uh, your drum buses, this can go for anything, your entire mixes, etc. So that was my tutorial on how to make your boring vocals a little bit more exciting with one trick. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on the Instagram. Also make sure you visit helpmedevon.info for a lot of goodies. We have vocal chains, presets like this with Studio Rack and a bunch of other stuff for pretty much all DAWs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and make sure you comment, like, subscribe and until next time. Guys.